Hello, everybody. It's Miss Ginny from the Rotary Children's Library in Drayton Valley. Um, our craft today at Crafting with Ginny is at 3.30 is going to be a Santa scene, a Santa picture that we're going to make. So the first thing you're going to want to do is print off the templates because there's templates in here. There's lots of them, different shapes and sizes for your Christmas tree, as well as for your Santa. And the craft supply list is there too. So you want to print the instructions with the supply list. So print that off first, then cut out your templates. And then you're going to want to trace them. So you'll need a pencil. You'll need some scissors. You're going to need some corrugated white cardboard if you have it. If it's not white, that's okay. Don't worry about it. But it looks kind of nice. So corrugated just means that you can see there's kind of lines in it. So you'll need a little bit of cardboard. You'll need a little bit of uh, red and green Christmassy colors of cardstock. And brown as well if you want. And your, I happen to have some poly paper here, but that's not an absolute necessity. You can always draw in a holly or whatever. It's up to you. You don't even have to put a holly on your picture. And I have this really sparkly paper that I made stars with my special stamp that I have for stars that I'm gonna put on my Christmas tree. So the other thing you'll want is a piece of paper Card stock if you have it, but sort of a more of a facial color, like a light tan or sort of yeah, lighter color. You'll want that. All right. And the other ones you'll want is I've chosen blue, so two different blues of cardstock. You just need a small piece, and you can make your picture as big or as small as you want. I'm doing a small one today for to show you. So I pre-cut this uh, paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue. So you're going to need a glue stick for your supplies. You also might want some pencil crayons and some markers and a Sharpie. Um, I printed off, as I said, some stars. Um, and I use my little star maker here out of that sparkly paper. And I am going to use a glue gun today, but you can use glue. Uh, glue guns work a little better on cardboard. So I just found that was a little bit better. So once I cut out everything and I've got all my templates cut out, you can see I've cut out my green tree and I've got all my Santa template cut out as well. So I pre-cut that. So now we're going to make our picture. So I'm just going to put the computer down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to glue this onto the bottom of your dark blue paper. So you just need a smaller strip and more of a larger strip there of the dark blue. So a small strip of the light blue cardstock. And just glue it on to the bottom of your paper, your uh, dark blue cardstock. It's just to give it a little contrast so that it looks nice. So there you can see I've just glued it onto the bottom. So now I'm going to start assembling. I'm going to keep my tree aside here and I'm going to start assembling my Santa. So I made sure that I labeled it so that I knew which was the body and how it goes. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start uh, putting the Santa together. So to make the Santa you glue the right hand onto the sack handle. Now, you can use a brown sack if you want. I decided to use a red one like Santa has. And this is what I call the sack handle. So I'm going to glue his right hand which is very small. This is the right hand. 
onto the sack handle. And then glue the sack to the back side of the Santa. So the sack is going to come down like this. And we're going to glue that hand onto that right hand onto the sack handle. So it should go on. I got to get a better glue stick. See if I've got a better one here. So you can put a little bit of glue on the handle on the hand and just stick it onto the handle. So you're okay. If it's not working right for me, my my um, glue sticks for some reason aren't working really well. So I'm just going to use some hot glue there to put my hand on it. So the hand is going to be on the sack handle. And next, I'm going to glue the sack in behind so that it's sticking out a little bit like this. So I'm taking it in behind here and I'm going to glue it so that it's it's uh, on the back, glue it to the back of the Santa. So I'm just gonna stick a little bit of glue onto the sack and then I'm gonna put Santa right like that. So you can see that there's the sack, there's his right hand and we're gonna put his arm on. Um, so you can just follow the image in the picture as to where to put things and follow the instructions. And then um, I'm going to glue the cuffs to the left. So he has white cuffs to the left hand of, to his left hand of Santa's left hand. That's his right arm. And I've labeled everything, like I said, because you want to make sure you label everything. And let's just see what else we have in here. All right, this is the left cuff, okay. All right, so I'm going to glue the cuffs to the left arm. I'm just gonna find his left arm here. So I have his left arm. Again, I did a smaller Santa. You can do a bigger Santa if you want. So of course the cuff is gonna glue right to the bottom here. Now I made the cuff out of cardboard. So I have that white cardboard that I'm gonna glue onto there. And that's where your glue gun comes in, in handy, but make sure if you're using a glue gun that you have adult supervision. I need another glue stick here, so let's just get that going. So now I'm going to glue that on. That's called the cuff. All right, so it's going to be like that. And then I'm going to... Um, glue these right and, and left arms onto the body, Santa's body. Whoops, I need to put this on this way because his arm needs to go like this, so. Okay. So make sure that you're gluing it onto the right 
gluing it on the right way because I want to glue it onto his body here. And put a little glue on the back. So where his arm should go, right about there. And then you can glue the holly underneath it, or um, not the holly, but the, um, the other uh, hand underneath, and then the holly underneath that. So you can put a little bit of glue there just to stick the holly underneath that. If you have holly, if you don't want holly on there, don't worry about it. You don't have to stick that on. It's just another little decoration that would look kind of nice on there. And you get lots of strings when you're working with hot glue. Again, you can use your glue stick. So you can see he's holding some holly. And I'm just gonna make sure that that puff is glued down better. It's kind of sticking up. Okay, so then the next thing that you're going to do is um, glue on the right arm. Now your right arm is going to be coming up towards the mitten or the hand that we had put on before that was attached to the, um, so he's got his right arm turned So you want to make sure, because it's attached to the handle of the um, sack. So now let's put the right arm on. And again, make sure that you are putting it the right way. So he's got his right hand up there and he's holding the sack handle. And you can't see any cuff, of course. And just stick that on there. So there he's holding the sack. You can see there's the Santa sack. And then you want to take uh, Then you want to take the pom-pom and uh, glue on the pom-pom and cuff onto your hat that you have for him. So uh, let's see, I have my pom-pom here. And again, I did that out of cardboard, white cardboard. And then I have my hat here. And the hat is very small again. It doesn't look like a hat when you hold it up like this, but once you attach it, you'll see. So you're going to want to glue that on there and you're gonna glue a pom-pom on the end of it. So that'll be Santa's hat. And then you want to glue the pom-pom, the white cardboard pom-pom on the end of it. So now you can see he's wearing his hat. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in his face.
So he has a beard and he has a mustache. So I'm going to glue the mustache onto the beard in a minute, but first I want to glue on his face. Now his face is going to be that tan color that we were talking about. So it's just a little bit of his face showing. So you're just going to put that in the middle of your Santa so you can show his face. So you can see, you can't tell it's his face yet until you draw in the eyes and the nose, but the face is in there. All around it is you're going to want to put the, um, the brim of his hat. So that's done in white again. So you're going to do the brim of his hat. You're going to glue that on. That's the cuff of the hat just above the face so that it kind of surrounds a little bit. So like that. And then you're going to want to put his beard on and you can glue his beard on and then his mustache on. Before you do that, you want to draw in his nose and his eyes. So use your black marker, your Sharpie, to draw in his eyes. And then you want to put a nice red nose. Like that. And then you're going to put his mustache on. Again, that's done in cardboard. and his beard. So you can glue the, the mustache onto the beard. And I'm just gonna cut his beard a little bit smaller. Let's see. A little bit, it's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter here. And we'll glue the mustache on the top before you glue it onto your Santa. So it's a matter of just building your, so there's the beard and there's the mustache. And then we're gonna put that on, glue that on right under his red nose. I'm going to make his nose a little bit bigger, and I think I'll make his beard a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. It's a little bit too long yet. Again, you know, you design it the way you want, but you can follow the instructions in the template. And then you just glue that on to your, to your Santa to fill in his, the rest of his uh, facial features here. So now you have your Santa Claus there, and now you have a cuff for the bottom of the coat. So again, it's out of cardboard, so you'll want to glue that on the bottom of his coat. Just on the very bottom, not on the sack, but on the bottom. So it gives him a nice trim for his coat. So there's your Santa. So now what you want to do is on your picture, you want to 
glue the finished Santa about halfway over the tree. So the first thing we're going to glue is the tree on. So we're going to work on the tree now. So I'm going to get my tree. It's a nice dark green. And I have a star all ready for my tree as well. So I'm going to see where my Santa would fit on here. Again, whoops, use your, use your picture that you have to follow as a kind of a guideline. So I'm going to bring my tree down to here. Let's see, let's put it this way. Let's just see where we want our tree and where we want our Santa. And then your Santa, you're going to want to have him beside the tree, just kind of overlapping it a little bit. So you can have him in pretty close. So I'm going to glue on this tree here onto my blue cardstock. I'll just put a use a little bit of glue gun here. All right, let's see. We want the tree right about there. Now the other thing that you can do is you can take some brown, that's that little bit of brown uh, cardstock, and you can put the brown stem on the bottom there, glue that on. Just like that, so you have your tree there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to glue your Santa right by the tree. And you can glue the star at the top of the tree too. You can put that on if you want to do that next so that you have your star at the top of the tree. And then I'm going to put Santa right by the tree and then I'm going to put some little stars all over my tree. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of my Santa that I made. And I'm going to glue him just so he's kind of um, close to the tree, but not covering it completely. So there you have your Santa beside the tree. So now I'm going to put some stars. Remember I said I used my little, um, my little special star maker. So I have already pre-cut some stars. So I am going to glue those on. And I'm just going to put them on every so often in different spots just to give my tree some sparkle. Put one down here, maybe one. You put them wherever you want. And again, you can use your white glue. My glue stick wasn't working right, so I'm just using uh, my hot glue gun, which is a little harder to work with when you're um, when you're doing little stars like this. And just. Put them wherever you want. Just remember with the hot glue gun, you get those strings. So you're gonna to wanna to pull those strings off your picture. And just stick them on, like I said, as many as you want or as little as you want, just to decorate your tree up a little bit, make it look a bit sparkly. And of course, I didn't want them to be exactly um, the same size as my big star, so. I'm 
I'm just kind of putting a few on. You don't need to put too many if you don't want. And again, if you get those strings, if you're using a hot glue gun, remember adult supervision. But uh, pull those strings off. Maybe one more star, and then I think we're, we're our picture is all done. So there you have your Santa Christmas picture. Whoops, that star fell. Let's put in that, that star back on here. And one more maybe. I like having stars on mine. There. So I hope you enjoyed making that Santa scene and I uh, hope you had as much fun as I did. Thank you for joining me and I will see you later. Bye.